Hey guys, Jake here, going through our next tutorial with uh, the iPad iPhone development. And as you've seen in the previous tutorials, or if you haven't seen them, go back, check them out. They've got a few um, of the basics going on. But what I want to do today is actually run through some of the other templates. Um, and then we'll get into a little bit more detail of each template as we move forward, just to show you some of the functionality of the Xcode 4 and uh, the software development SDK that they've got set up. So in the past we've uh, we've worked with the view based application template which is basically just a single view. Um, we're gonna start off and go through this uh, split view based application and uh, so as you guys create a new project you'll just simply go over here to the iOS application and that's what we're working in primarily. Hopefully in the future we'll get into the, Macs o or the Mac OS X um, some of the applications and building those as well but uh, go ahead and click your split view based application and uh, continue through the workplace workflow there and we're just gonna put in split view and then uh, go ahead and click next there and so it'll ask you to save it create a folder for it etc so as that loads you'll see a few different things you've got your main window and uh, if you're not familiar with Xcode 4 it makes it really easy to to keep everything organized you've got different uh, components over here your classes etc but uh, what we're gonna do is just run this application right off the start to see what it looks like you can either click uh, run up here or command R and as that's compiling it'll launch the simulator which will blow up and you can see we've got we've got just a basic detail view with a root view controller and so that's where the split base comes in is we've got a a master to detail um, view so this is going to be our master list here which we can input items and then uh, when selected they'll pop up in our detail view here now what I want to do is also uh, change the arrangement here rotate it to the left and that'll give you what it looks like on the iPad as you flip it to the left or the right again you'll have your master over here your root view controller with your detail view over here um, so it does give you a little bit more functionality as you guys are putting a master list out there that maybe has some details about certain items, etc. And uh, that's kind of how you, how it looks as far as the split based. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, rotate it back, and again, events. It's got a simple navigation bar with again our master list up here. So I'm going to X out of there, and we're just going to run through some of the basics here, and then we'll get into how do we actually put in the master list and then how do, we, how do we give details about the master list within the detail view. So we've got our delegates up here with our main window and then we've got our detail view controller and so this is going to be your, your uh, as you see the main the main files of your root view which is the main list. So as you look at the detail view which we saw I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the debugger window here so it gives us a little bit more room but again we've got our detail view and that's where we're going to put um, basically an image placeholder or um, static information that we correlate and associate with the master list. Um, so we'll just go into the header file here and as you can see we've got the toolbar, we've got the navigational um, piece as well. Run through the uh, implementation and again you can see the toolbar is synthesized according to the, the properties in the header file and that's how it associates between um, the detail view and the root master. So as we work forward we'll look at a little bit more detailed but just to give you a, kind of a basic overview of the split based again the root view is going to be the main header and where we store the main the main items and then we're going to develop something again to give the detailed view and those are associated closely so we'll take a look as uh, we get in further how to actually put these together so we've got our main and our uh, detailed view and uh, we'll continue forward with the next tutorial. 